not really force her, but I suppose initiate her into this next phase of her development and learning to be an adult bird. Mm -hmm. This will be the first time that she doesn't have this and I'll be providing her something else in return which will help her further develop into an adult bird. Mm -hmm. And this change to her life is... I'm removing her nest box. Now this is something that has been, I guess, a place of refuge for her. You know, with this entire cage being so open, but she loved having a box because it fulfills her nesting instinct. It makes her feel more secure, right? Because she's lived in a nest her whole life. She was raised in a breeding box. When I got her, I moved her into like a Rubbermaid bin, which was like her nest. And then moving into this massive cage, this became her nest. Now, the problem with having a nest around all the time is that some say and some feel that it impedes her development to be I guess an adult bird you know it keeps them in the nest in that whole nesting mode um, as a baby chick and it keeps them from climbing I guess and venturing off into these higher branches so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be removing this box but in return I'm gonna be adding a whole bunch of edits to this cage which will further encourage her to start climbing now I'll show you what that edit is in just a second yes don't worry mm -hmm. okay Ligaya I'm about to do something pretty major all right at first it might be a bit uncomfortable for you but I think eventually you'll get used to it and it's for your own good all right I know you can get through this and you'll actually like this change mm -hmm. all right so here we go I know you want to come out here step up Step up, step up. My hand will not move, it's okay. Step up, good girl. Oh, okay, whoops. Perch, yes. Okay, 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 here, come, come, come. Mm. She's getting more and more comfortable with perching on my hand. I try to pick her up now with her voluntarily walking onto my hand. Okay, okay, I'll take her here. You can play here while I work on your Cage edits. Go, go, go. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Play with this while waiting. Mm -hmm. As for these, I'll be needing these. There, you can have one. Play with one. Get used to it. You're gonna need it. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those, flap those, flap those wings. Guys, look at how observant she is. She's watching me tear away at her cage. <laughs> Don't worry, Ligaya, trust me, you will love this new setup. Promise. She is not convinced. Okay, Mabu High Squad, so let me show you around. All right, so what I've done here is I've added this extra floor. These grill floors came with the cage. Um, I didn't think I would be using them, but um, I just realized that this actually might be a great way to get her climbing. You know what I mean? Getting used to climbing, using her legs to climb and beak. We've got a ladder here that she could climb. And I've moved some of these toys up higher on the rope wall so she can just climb up and sort of play with those toys up there which she loves playing with. But this ramp here brings her a lot closer to this large limb here. Now you'll see it's it's kind of tight here. Here I placed a bowl up here because I would like to place you know treats and fruits which she already loves up there. But when she comes up here she'll kind of crawl under here and hopefully she will perch onto this piece of wood and climb up onto the main piece of wood. I wanted to make this tight for her so she could use her beak, her wings, whatever she needs to grip and not fall over as she's trying to climb on this main branch. Uh, so that's why it's kind of tight-ish. Um, I know she'll feel more secure if she's got more things around her to grab onto as she climbs. So I'm hoping that she will eventually, first of all, make her way up this ramp and then climb up here. In terms of this food bowl, I'm thinking of placing it either on the floor or possibly up here to encourage her to kind of, once she's up here, walk over this way. That'll be nice, right? It'll also possibly keep her from like falling over. I don't know. This is a very short distance. So if she does 
sort of fall over, it should be okay. Um, it's kind of like when toddlers who are learning to first walk, when they trip over and fall, it's kind of part of the process of bird climbing, right? So I'm hoping this new design helps her uh, behaviorally. Now, again, this is the first time she won't have a nest box, but at night, of course, the entire cage is completely covered. So I'm hoping that will help her feel secure enough um, to be able to sleep. Um, and let's, let's hope this works, guys. It's gonna be a big step for her. Now, the whole time she's been watching me tear away at her enclosure. <laughs> I know, you're like wondering what is going on? What am I doing? Trust me, you will love this. All right, believe me, let's go. I'm gonna show you your new home. Don't panic, it's slightly different, but I believe you may really enjoy it. Okay, what do you think? I don't think she's realized yet. Okay, I'll pet you in the head. Look around. Do you find things are a bit different? Hmm? She still wants to play. You could play out here, you know. And there's more room for you to spread your wings and flap, right? Totally like, okay, things are a bit different. What is this? I rolled up a piece of paper towel up there, like a little ball. See, she's checking out that little stairs ramp. You know, you could climb that ramp. I do find she likes to go under things, you know what I mean? So perhaps this ramp will be fun for her, actually. Come, come up here. Look, I rolled you a little paper towel ball. Here, try to get it, right here. Yep. <laughs> oh, reach it. You can almost get it. No, that's cheating. Good girl. Oh, almost. <laughs> Just gotta be patient while she warms up with this whole pathway. And I think eventually she will climb up onto this path and hopefully make her way up on this main branch. Here, yeah, here. Look, a cool irresistible paper towel ball. Ooh, yes. Isn't it great? Mm-hmm, I'm gonna put it right here. You have to try to get it. Go. Good girl, yes. I think she'll also start to realize that, hey, now that this ramp is here, I can get to certain toys a lot easier. You have to climb. You have to climb to get it. Yes, good girl. <laughs> Come on, use your brain. I know you can do it. No, I, I'm not gonna lift you up there. You have to learn how to get up here. Here, try to get this ball. Come, right here, right here, and then here. Try to get it there. You can reach it there, right? She's like, is it sturdy? <laughs> Come on, you can get it. You can get it. Good girl. She's using her beak and one of her feet is actually on the ramp. All right, you got the ball. <laughs> okay, that was kind of easy, but at least it's getting her used to this ramp. I think that is the first step to let her warm up to the ramp. Oh, you reached it. You have a quite a long neck. Here, try it again. Here. You can do it, climb. Go, go. Climb up, yes. Exactly like that. You can do it. Climb. This is good enrichment for her. Up, up, step up, yes. Like that, yes. Good girl, yep, next foot. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so close. Oh well. Oh my god, she's climbing it. I did not put her up there. She's climbing it. Good girl. Oh my gosh. Good girl. She did it. Oh my gosh. I didn't turn my camera on on time to see her start the ascent, but now she's totally up there, all on her own. Up, oh, and she's coming up to the. She's loving this wood for sure. She's like, oh, I've never been able to reach this on my own. You always put me up here and it caused me so much distress. But now that I made it up here on my own, this is kinda neat. Wow, look at her, look at her picking at the wood. This is such a natural behavior, guys. See, she's gonna chew at this wood, tear it apart. This feels so great for her. It'll help her trim her beak naturally. Oh, she's one happy parrot right now. Aren't you happy you climbed? She's loving all this wood. She really is. Something tells me she's gonna be up here a lot now. Now that she knows she can make it up here. It's so easy to go down. Let's see if she can, going up is easy, but let's see if she can make her way down. The same way you went up, go. Don't jump. No, that's not the right way. <laughs> she's gonna have one last chew at the wood. Come on, I think you'll know how. Here, just go down the same way you went up. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly like that. Uh-huh, she's scared. <laughs> She's like, climbing was easy, but going down, hard. Yeah, 
You could do it right here. Right here. Come, 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 come. Come, come. Come, come, come. I think this piece of wood here is causing her distress. I'm gonna remove that right now. That wasn't a good idea. I wonder if putting the piece of wood here will encourage her to go down. Look, there's a piece of wood here. Makes it easier. Yep, it seems she's trying to go for the wood. Yes! Awesome, so this wood acts like a rail for her. Oh good! Oh, she's gonna grab onto the rope wall. Good choice. She's hanging on to the rope wall with one leg. Yes! Great! Oh, don't be afraid. <laughs> she's gonna play on the way. Yes! Okay, I see what you're doing. She's gonna climb down that way. This is also important. Like, I really don't want to help her and do the work for her. She needs to learn to use her legs and her beak to get around. This is so important for her development. Yes! You're gonna climb up? Huh? You're so close. Okay, she's going back up. <laughs> she's checking out the food bowl, which currently has nothing in it, but we'll put some treats in there for her. Yes! What do you think of these new changes, huh? Good girl. I know this ain't easy, but you're doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. She's grabbing onto that piece of wood already. There's no way you're gonna get up there. Is there? Now, the reason why I still want to lay this paper towel down for her is because now that she's eating solid foods and she's kind of just like splattering it all over, I do want to encourage her to pick up food from the ground. Um, so I will keep this here, but eventually I will remove it so her poo can fall into the tray. Oh, don't tell me she's gonna make the climb. Well, one thing's for sure, this new setup is definitely getting her more interested in climbing, which is ideal. It's a, it's a good thing. Bet she didn't know how much of a process it was to get birds to start climbing, huh? Oh, don't tell me she's gonna actually climb up there from here directly. That would be amazing. She's chewing at that wood. Chew that wood. Yeah, bite those chunks of wood. Go, go, go. Sharpen that beak. Yes. Fulfill your wood fantasies. This is great. Great, great, great. Good enrichment. Oops, oops. And there she goes. Oops, hang on. Oh, your first fall. It freaked me out. I thought she had hurt herself. You okay? Did you hurt yourself? I hope not. Just spooked. All right, quick edit, added this toy here. So that in the event that she does have that accidental fall once again, she can grab onto this on the way down and kind of break her fall. Plus, she loves being able to play with it. <laughs> to be honest, I had a mini heart attack when she fell. I felt like maybe she sprained something or broke something, but no, she's totally fine. She's playing with her toys. I suppose it's that parenting instinct, right? Like you want to, sort of protect them from being hurt. You want to keep them in this protective bubble, but inside you also know that they need to fall sometimes. You know what I'm saying? They need to get a little bruised. <laughs> I mean, it helps them toughen up in a way. See how strong the urge to climb is in these parrots at this age? Like, she f recently fell and now she's back to climbing. Go ahead, strengthen those climbing muscles. Mm-hmm. Go, go, go. So she's getting ready to take her nap, but you might be wondering what all that singing is out there. People in the neighborhood are singing karaoke. This is the Philippines. <laughs> but I think Ligaya is liking it. We like those people singing, huh? Sayang na sayang talaga. You like Filipino songs? Hmm? Just keep it inside. <laughs> What's up, Mobile High Squad? Okay, so about to do something pretty major in a few minutes here. Here in the ant room, yes. And I'm here with my good friend Miguel. Hey from, guys, what's up? Yes, from XSplit. You know why? Because we are about to go live here in my ant room. See that? Gonna be live streaming a feeding of the Titans, my Asian Marauder ants. This is pretty major. So I've got a laptop here um, for reading and answering questions. Oh, and the 
the amount of technicality and work that went into this live stream, right? Crazy. Crazy. Look at all these wires. You see that? And certain parts I had to order through Amazon from like US, like this. Um, that we're streaming from my uh, Canon 1D X. So we're hoping this will go smoothly and the details will show. The only thing we're depending on is reliable internet. I am streaming uh, using my uh, data plan from my phone. So this, it'll all depend on Philippines internet. Oh my goodness, I'm so nervous because this is a one hour live stream and I'll be asking questions and showing video. But if we get cut off due to slow internet, it'll, be, it'll just be really sad. So I hope it works. In the past, I've had nightmare instances where the live stream dropped out, but hopefully this time, it doesn't. Miguel was actually here several days ago and we tested it, right? And it was pretty reliable, so hopefully hopefully it works out. Okay, so we're about to go live, but this is just the half hour point before the actual live stream. It should pop up here, some kind of countdown soon. Oh, I'm nervous. So this is a live feeding of the Titans in Olympus, which is this new setup here. For those of you who don't follow the Ants Canada channel, it's a pretty epic colony, guys, with uh, six queens in it and it's huge thousands of workers and I'm hoping they come out for this feeding Let's hope so. All right, here we go. The half hour countdown. Awesome. 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 Ooh, I'm so nervous and look at the chat box These are just the top chats. This isn't even all the chats It selects like the top chats, but I can't even read it goes by so fast every time I do these live streams I <laughs> have troubles like reading people's comments and stuff because it just look at look at the support that is the AC family for you they are amazing they're so excited to see these ants okay so apparently we're dropping frames which means internet problems right off the bat but thankfully Miguel is it's fine that's the master IT at this. XSplit, by the way, is a program that allows YouTubers to live stream, or not only YouTubers, anyone to live stream online. It's like a professional software for uh, professional broadcasts like ours. Did we fix it? Did we fix it? I hope so, I hope so. I am not dropping anymore. Okay, good. No dropping, Lord, please. All right, look, we're testing from his mobile. This is what all of AC family is seeing right now. That. Awesome. I've, I've even set up the background music and if you listen carefully you can hear the ambiance crickets and it says the Titans YouTube live feeding shall begin shortly and there's a countdown. There's their official flag of the Titans and of course we've got the Titans yeah. food ready. A chopped up cockroach. Yes. Cockroach souffle. Yes. The same scissors I used to chop our pizza. Just kidding. Um, no. Because <laughs> you had some. That, no. <laughs> Wow, this is great. Okay, so it's not dropping. It's not dropping from here. It's your, it's your internet. You it's just, my internet. Just, just... So Miguel says internet is decent. We got 17 minutes till we go live. The chat room is going insane right now. I can't even see. More and more people are tuning in. Right now, 1,246 tuning in. But that number should grow once this hits zero. Ah, uh -huh. so guys, on YouTube, when you do live streams, there's this thing called Super Chat where the followers or the viewers can donate. So someone uh, donated 25 PLN. I'm not sure what currency that is, but it's great that, they, uh, that they're so supportive. Like, I don't even ask for them to donate, but obviously if they do, it'll go towards the ants that they love. So it really, it really is great to see. One time I live streamed for eight minutes and I believe we got 600 USD worth of donations, which is insane to me. It's just, it's amazing. Ant love is huge with the AC family. Okay, we looked it up. Yeah, it's PLA Polish, Polish, uh, Polish currency. Zloty. How do, you, mm. how do you pronounce it? What, what's that? I don't know. Zloty. Zloty? It's, it's not an L. It, it, you see that character? It's very different. Yeah, Zloty. I don't know. Polish. Any, Polish money. Polish you currency. Polish guys? What is it called? How do you pronounce it? And it comes out to about $7. Under 7 US dollars. Yeah. OMG, I'm nervous. I'm stuttering. I better not stutter during this <gasps> live stream. Exciting! We have just over 7 minutes left. The chat room is going crazy right now. Unbelievable, and it's so moving. Our um, slogan on Ants Canada and on the channel is Ant Love Forever. And they are just, the Ant Love Forevers are just scrolling up and it's so moving. Wow, wow, wow. AC family, love you guys. Love you. 
Let's hope this works. And guys, it is so hot in this ant room. Seriously. We're like baking. Yeah, we're baking. Cause like this room can't have air conditioning because the ants need heat. And oh boiling, but it's okay. It's we okay. For the love. For the love of ants. Guys, we now have less than two minutes. And I have to pee, but I'm holding it. It's too late. Un yeah, it's too late. Okay, up here. Still have a minute left, don't worry. Okay, I'll push. <laughs> Oh my gosh, here it goes. Greetings, AC family. Welcome everyone. I see you guys in the chat and it is awesome to see you here. We are going live right now here in Olympus. The terrarium, it's a brand new terrarium actually, uh, which houses a huge super colony of Asian marauder ants, our new titans. Are you guys excited? I am super excited about this because I, Cannot wait to show you how ravenous these ants are. They're so hungry, right guys? Also, for those of you who are chatting, feel free to leave me your questions. Um, any comments, I'll shout you guys out as best I can because I'm looking right now at the chat box and it is going by so fast. So sorry if I miss your question, but I'll try to do my best. OMG, we're done. We're done, guys. Miguel, high five. High five. Oh my gosh, we're I couldn't it. have done it without him. OMG, this is crazy. Wow, that was such a cool experience. It was awesome. And oh my gosh, you AC family were amazing. All of your comments. It has like almost 40,000 views now. One hour long, everything went so smoothly. Yeah, like no, it. really no problems, right? I mean like minor hiccups here and there, but it's like, yeah, no, it's fine. We, we got it, we got it. Yes, we did. Oh, amazing. And thank you so much XSplit for helping. Couldn't have done it without you guys. And wow, a lot of UAC family also donated. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. My, my, aunt, my aunt channel doesn't rely on like sponsored videos. I, I do no sponsorship videos. I haven't done them so far. Um, so it really relies on the support from you guys, the viewers. Um, and I don't ask for donations, but you guys have donated. So thank you, really appreciate it. That's all going back to feeding the ants. <laughs> yes, it's done, yes. woo! All right, flap those wings, flap those wings. All right, my boy squad, finished the live stream and now spending uh, some play time before her bedtime with Legaya. Um, and I wanted to create this cool, I guess, obstacle course, just to get her used to crawling up and down the grill due to her new setup. Uh, and it looks like right now she's just enjoying flapping those wings. Flap those wings, flap those wings. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, go full, go full. Good girl, good girl, yes. Good girl, yes. Very good girl. So now, you food, we can play again. Good girl. All right, what you guys just saw there was she was about to poo. Um, and I quickly snatched her up and put her in her cage and then made the command go poo. She pooed and then I clicked the clicker and she was so excited so now I brought her back here to play but I think she's telling me to take her back to the cage now. <sighs> the potty training process is still underway. My Buhai squad, mark my words, she will be potty trained. Okay. And here's another trick that we've been working on together. You wanna see? Legaya, you wanna show them the trick that We've been working on, step up, good girl. Yes, other foot. No, almost, one more time. Step up, other foot, yes. Awesome, we did it, great. All right, so that was the step up command. Eventually it'll be like on my fingers, but because she's still a baby and she isn't technically fully perching yet. It's on open palms and it takes her a few tries, but with practice, she'll be able to coordinate right foot, left foot. Um, and she has done it perfectly in one try a few times before. But now she's sleepy, so she's gonna play until she gets tired. And meanwhile, I'm going to cover this 
I'm gonna cover it well because this is the very first time she'll be sleeping without her nest box. So sad. She'll need to do it because she needs to become an adult bird. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's tough love. Good morning. Oh, and look who's climbing on the ramp. Did you enjoy your first night without the box? Hmm? Yes. It's time for breakfast. I know, you're hungry. Look at her. Yes, climb, climb. Use those legs, use those legs. Mm-hmm. Good girl, look at you climbing like an adult bird. It's breakfast time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Got your food all mixed. No, don't touch this one. This is the hot one. Here, here. This is where your food is. See if it's the right temperature. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it is. It's ready. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be great. I got, I got some food for you. I know you want this food. Oh, mmm, parrot barf. I know you want this. So, uh, mm-hmm. Open. Mmm. Isn't that great? Isn't that the best breakfast ever? But you know what? We're also gonna get you to eat some veggies and fruits. Mmm, galore. Mmm, good girl. Yes. Yes. Such a good birdie. Eat, eat, grow. Nourish your growing cells. Mm-hmm. Legaya. Nourish those growing cells. Go poo. Go poo. Go poo. Good girl. You pooed on my dinner table. Oh, boy. Yes, you can make it down. Go. Go, go, go. Use all the tools God gave you to make it down the ramp. Yes. Go, yes. <laughs> good girl, good girl. Awesome. She made it down. Little rough, but she's on terra firma. Very good. Good girl. Mm-hmm. Someone's excited. Yes, your fresh veggies. I know. Here, because you've been so good at climbing and stepping up. Now you got your fresh veggies. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. All right, my Buhai squad. Now, up next for today, we have something scheduled that is going to be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. For, obviously, Legaya over here. Legaya, you're in for a treat today. Mm -hmm. And that is 